A few moments ago, we had an interesting chat with someone from the Ayn Rand Society talking about Ayn Rand, the app. Take a look. Yaron Brooke, thank you for joining us today. Can you tell us a little bit about what you're doing at the Ayn Rand Institute with an iPad app? Of course, our first question is, would Ayn Rand have an iPad? And what would be on that app? Good question. <laughs> I, I think Ayn Rand would have an iPad. It's a, it's a fantastic <laughs> tool. The app itself is, is mainly the book, you know, in an iBook format. But added to that are video interviews with Ayn Rand, audio interviews. There's also a, a photo gallery. There's a biography with a timeline of her life. Uh, some, you know, you can reference, uh, if you have a question about her philosophy, there's some, there's some uh, essays on her philosophy. So it's, a, it's what they're calling now an enhanced book. It's a, a bigger experience than just reading the book. You get all these additional sources that, you know, make the, make the experience more fulfilling. Tell us about the, what you think of this, the, the latest sort of Ayn Rand craze. You hear all of a sudden her ideas come up and, and, and sort of newly relevant in politics. I think that's one reason for the timing of this app. To what do you attribute that? Well, we think it's fantastic, obviously, but unfortunately, uh, you know, I attribute it to the whole financial crisis and everything that's happened. Uh, you know, since Obama got elected, Atlas Shrugged, the book itself, has sold over a million copies. We're talking about a 54-year-old book. That's, that's phenomenal. <laughs> and I think what people are identifying is that there's a parallel between what's happening today, the way the, the, our politicians are responding to events today, and what happens in the book. What she wrote in 1957 is almost prophetic in terms of what's happening today. The fact that we're blaming the financial crisis on capitalism and on businessmen, the fact that we think that the solution is more regulation, more control, and bigger and bigger government, is exactly the scenario in Atlas Shrugged. And Ayn Rand has answers to kind of the challenges that we face as a culture today, and people are drawn to that as a consequence. Well, what do you think she would be saying, though, to Republicans in terms of their answers for the economic crisis? Would she be on board with the issues, whether it's tax cuts or the other sorts of things that, that Republicans are, are putting forward? Well, she would argue that the primary problem today is that government is too big and has taken on a role that it was never intended to take on. And she would advocate for dramatically uh, cutting spending and cutting the role of government, shrinking the government to its basic function, which is the protection of individual rights. And you don't need the multiple alphabet agency, you know, agencies out there. You don't need all the entitlement programs for the, for the government to function based on that one principle of protecting individual rights. So she would say cut spending dramatically. And once you cut spending dramatically, once you eliminate many of the programs that the government's involved today, then you can talk about cutting, you know, dramatically cutting taxes, which would be appropriate. But, more, but even more important than cutting taxes, I think, today, what would really get our economy going is a dramatic reduction in regulations. Get the regulators off the back of businessmen. And, you know, Ayn Rand believed in a complete separation of economics from state. She believed that government had really no function in our economic lives, that markets work, leave them alone. All right, Yaron Brook of the Ayn Rand Institute, the new uh, Ayn Rand iPad app, <laughs> Atlas Shrugged, the enhanced book. This is great stuff. Thanks so much. Put it right next to Angry Birds. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> On your iPad. All right, Thank thanks. You.